In this video, we'll tour the Vegas Pro interface and get familiar with the various sections and windows. You will also learn how to create a custom window layout. In the upper left, we have the main menu navigation. The file menu contains various functions to manage files, like creating a new project, close and save. The render function, which you use to create your final video or audio file, file import and export, and you can also exit the application here. The edit menu contains functions for editing video and audio events. Learn the corresponding shortcuts in this menu to speed up your editing workflow. The view menu contains functions to add or remove windows from the user interface. You can show various event-based functions and add or remove audio envelopes like volume and mute, or video envelopes like keyframes and velocity. The insert menu contains functions to insert various elements like envelopes, tracks, subtitles, and markers. One quick note, you can also right-click the track list to quickly insert audio and video tracks without leaving the timeline. In fact, right-click other interface sections and objects to find additional ways to insert elements. The Tools menu gives you access to many editing and other tools. For example, you can send your audio for additional editing in SoundForge Audio Studio, pre-render your video, and access the multi-camera editing options. Here you can also make use of the powerful Vegas Pro scripting feature and run scripts to automate repetitive workflow operations. In addition, Vegas 365 subscribers have additional tools like speech-to-text for quickly creating subtitles and titling elements. The Options menu contains many functions that allow you to control the operation of Vegas Pro. For example, you can turn snapping on or off, control ripple behavior, customize the toolbar, and change software preferences. And finally, in the Help menu, you can access the application help file and the complete list of keyboard shortcuts. Make sure to frequently check for new software and driver updates to ensure that Vegas Pro runs smoothly. This menu also contains links to the Vegas Community Forum and homepage. The toolbar provides buttons to access many of the same functions as in the menus above. To customize the toolbar so that it holds the functions you find most useful, choose Options, Customize Toolbar, and then Add or Remove functions as you wish. The window docking area contains several windows by default and can hold any number of other windows that you choose. To open a window, click its tab below the open window. To add a window to the docking area, choose View, Window, and select the window you want to open. For instance, to open the Video Scopes window, choose View, Window, Video Scopes. The Video Scopes window opens as a floating window. To dock the window in the window docking area, Drag it by its title bar toward the top left corner of the docking area while you hold the control key. When it snaps into place within the area, release the mouse button. To remove a window from the docking area, drag the Windows tab away from the area. When the window becomes a floating window, release the mouse button. All of this behavior works for every other dockable window in the same way. The Video Preview window displays a project's video output at the current cursor position during editing and playback. The toolbar at the top of the window holds several functions related to video playback. For example, you can send the video output to a second monitor, add video output effects, or take a snapshot of the current frame and save it as a still image file. The transport at the bottom of the window shows the play, pause, and stop buttons since you use these most often while you edit your project. Additional buttons give you more functionality. For instance, to play your project from the start regardless of where your cursor is, click the More button and choose Play from Start from the menu. You can also make other buttons visible in the bar. To do so, click the More button and choose Edit Visible Button Set from the menu. In the Edit Visible Button Set dialog box, select the checkbox for the buttons you want to make visible and click OK. All of your project audio passes through the Master Output bus. Here you can control overall audio level and apply VST audio effects like compression and EQ. You might also want to use the Loudness meter. This meter helps you ensure that your audio meets broadcast standards. To open the Loudness meter, choose View, Window, Loudness meters, 
Then use the docking techniques you learned a few minutes ago to dock it into the window docking area if you want to. Most of your time editing in Vegas Pro will take place in the timeline. Right click the track list to access a context menu where you can add a new video or audio track and more. To adjust track height, drag the bottom edge of the track up or down. To adjust the track height of several tracks at once, double click the vertical scroll bar at the far right of the timeline. By default, the timeline ruler uses Simpty Drop or 29.97 frames per second video, but you can easily change the ruler format if your project calls for it. Right click the timer ruler and choose the format you want from the context menu. The timeline toolbar contains transport and editing functions. From here, you can add markers, toggle auto ripple on and off, and open the color grading panel. You can easily move and resize windows to create a custom layout tailored to your workflow. You can also save custom layouts and call them back at any time. To save this layout, choose View, Window Layouts, Save Layout As. Give your new layout a name and choose OK. Once you've saved your layout, you can switch back and forth between layouts whenever you need to. For instance, to return to the default layout, choose View, Window Layouts, Default Layout. 